M.O.B. Scrap was one of the toughest GDs coming out of the south side of Chicago that slid on his ops for fun. And he was known to have four bodies. This guy was a true savage that kept his ops on high alert. This is Top Trend TV, and this is the hit list of M.O.B. Scrap. I ain't finna clap him at the store, then I get to act like a bro. Four foes, AKs, all in your face. Nick move a bitch, I'm about to catch a case. Boom! They sent his ass to Baldy real. When we hit Baldy in his head, None. Bigger than the mob. the mob. Gee, I just talked to Rob, now this nigga getting robbed. I be flexing high, freestyling on the iPod. Ho, catch us on the nine, they are the fat bitch with the mob. See, niggas be goofy. Flats real fried. I think do see who I get it from cause I be going high. Right. Sacked up real high. Yeah. And I ain't even got Brian Weekly, aka MOB Scrap, is from the Michigan Ave area from 56 to 60th. Growing up in the house with his older brother, he started the gangbang at only the age of 13. And the first time Scrap got shot at was the age of 14. So he joined the gang MOB with his brother for protection and started gangbanging heavy around these ages. MOB was originally a larger set with more members named M-Town, which stood for Mugtown. M-Town's territory was so big that it was from 51st to 62nd. M-Town started in the buildings around the 51st and Cullimant area, but in 2007 is when the younger guys would make MOB, and Scrap would lose his first homie in 2007 too. September 2nd, 2007, a 14 year old boy in the High Park neighborhood was fatally shot inside a car on the south side that Saturday night. Xavier Washington, aka Junebug, was the one that was killed. The driver, though, who was another friend, was paralyzed from the waist down after this incident. Scrap, though, and the others wasn't hit. This incident occurred around 9 p.m., and after the two were shot, the car crashed, according to the Wentworth District Police. This was one of the first members MOB lost, and it's alleged that this incident happened because these young guys was robbing guys from Front Street. But after that, Scrap turned into a straight savage. Why the f these niggas ain't hanging out? I'm ready. I'm man, what's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> It wouldn't be until 2011 though, when Scrap would allegedly catch his first body, July 17th, 2011, at about 12.55 a.m. on a warm Chicago Sunday, Marcus London, aka 600 Baldy, was walking down the street with a friend. When a car suddenly pulled up, two men hopped out and started firing shots at Baldy and his friend. Baldy was taken to the hospital where he died at about 4.30 p.m. His friend was only hitting the ankle, police said. After 600 switched to a BD set in 2009, 600 Baldy would be the first loss that 600 would take. He was known for supplying guns to 600 and Front Street and was a well-loved 600 member. And plus, he was allegedly involved in the murder of Junebug. But less than a month later, Scrap would catch another body under his belt. And this time, it was a well-loved O-Block member because M.O.B. Scrap is the one that allegedly killed O.D. Perry, which was one of the first members from O-Block to lose their life on August 11, 2011. Odie Perry suffered from multiple gunshot wounds, including one to the neck at about 11.30 p.m., and he was pronounced dead at 12.18 a.m. K.I. and a couple more other people was allegedly there the night that Odie died, but M.O.B. Scrap wasn't done there. The feeling of catching bodies got addicted to Scrap, and he would catch his first notable body on September 19, 2011. And mind you, Scrap was only 14, allegedly catching these bodies. At about 5.50 p.m., Stephen McGee he was walking in the 600 block of South Prairie Avenue, only about three blocks away from his house, when a guy passing on a bicycle warned Lil Steve that guys with guns gathered in a nearby alley. Then a few moments later, MOB Scrap and a few others came out with guns shooting McGee, striking him in the head and upper torso, police said. Lil Steve was rushed to Stroger Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead. Lil Steve was a well-loved 600 member. Not too long after, though, MOB Scrap was arrested for the murder of Lil Steve. And this was right around the time that MOB Ruger got out of jail. He said he came home to find out his little brother got booked for murder. And hearing the bad news made him sick to his stomach. But him and his family got some money together, and they got him a good lawyer. And within a few months, MOB Scrap beat the case and was a free man. He started to do music with his brother Ruger and dropped his first song on April 9th, 2012, called Five Nine, which has about 20,000 views at this moment. Then on June 16th, 2013, he would drop a song 
featuring Ruger and FBG Duck, and his song was named From the Squad. Gaining more and more attention throughout the city, he pulled about 100,000 views on this video. Then on September 13, 2012, he would drop a song with Dusky the Man called Lacking While It's Cracking. And these MOB guys was mostly always outside on a block, which they have a lot of videos and unseen footage of them on the block and doing music. But MOB Scrap wasn't done yet because he had more ops on his murder list. September 3rd, 2013, at about 8 p.m. on a Monday night, in the Englewood Southside neighborhood, officers responded to a call of shots fired in the 5700 block of South Princeton Avenue. And when they arrived, they found a 27-year-old man named Frederick Browns from the Shield set. Right after he had been shot multiple times in the alley, he was taken to John H. Stroger Jr. Hospital of Cook County where he died at 8.30 p.m. Fred was a well-loved gang member from the Shield set. He was from the 6300 block of South King Drive. After all these murders, Scrat was still outside and sliding on the ops. His brother Ruger says the last day he spent with him, all he did was play 2K all day. And that day, Ruger told him not to go outside because Scrap had got shot less than two weeks before that, twice in two different situations. So he was already healing from getting shot in the chest. Scrap was so tough that he didn't care and he still went outside after Ruger told him to stay in. And right before Scrap left out, he told Ruger he was gonna die anyway soon. June 7th, 2014, at about 1.30 a.m. on a warm Saturday night, officers responded to a call of shots fired on the 5600 block of Wabash Avenue. And when they arrived, 18-year-old Brian Weekly and a 20-year-old was suffering from gunshot wounds. MOB Scrap was unresponsive and was suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. The 20-year-old was taken to John Stroger Hospital in critical condition, and after Scrap died, they renamed MOB Scrap Gang in honor of Scrap. Lil Boo was the suspected killer of Scrap. It was the get back for 600 Lil Steve, but even Dusky the Man made a song in honor of Scrap in 2017 which has over 700,000 views up today. Dusky the Man was real close to Scrap and Ruger, but on October 9th, 2018, Dusky the Man would be killed. The shooting happened just before 4 p.m. in the 5600 block of South Michigan Avenue. Chicago police says 25-year-old Ventrice Chris was shot in the head and a 20-year-old woman was struck in the left foot. Both was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center where Dusky was pronounced dead at 4.33 p.m and the woman was in stable condition. But as of the day, MOB is going strong with many active members, and Scrap's brother Ruger continues to do music up to date. MOB Scrap wasn't known to have any children, and hopefully his name lives on forever, cause his story is truly a crazy story. But that'd be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what y'all wanna see next. And as always, stay blessed and stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.